Let's keep it in the West. The Clippers, they lost again last night, dropping to three and four, and Kawhi Leonard has only played in two of those games. So, Chine. Oh, why me? I know, the Clippers, because <laughs> we both love the Clippers. We were high on them coming into the season. That's why you should be concerned with Kawhi's status. Too soon. Well, I'm just saying, why is she soon? starting with you? You don't ever answer no questions. I'm going to answer one right here <laughs> and right now. I don't think it's too soon to be concerned about Kawhi Leonard's status I'm because so we came in. That's an answer right there. Because we said that this is a team that this is the year that they should win a championship. So right. I would absolutely be concerned, especially if you're a Clippers fan, because this is your, your shot. And also, it's not just Kawhi. Mm. It's the fact that the role players, the Norm Powells, the Reggie Jacksons, unfortunately, they're not at that lightning in a bottle type of production that we saw from last year so it's trying to get the whole band together the head of the snake is Kawhi Leonard and I would be concerned right now because this is a year where hey we're trying to win a championship and it seems like we're pretty far away from that because their offense has looked very bad to start the year and I love saying good things it just has been tough to say what the real truth is about the Clippers I'm so proud oh, I did it I did it Are you, okay? right. you good I was the person that got a lot of heat at the beginning of the year yeah, because I said I did not believe in the Clippers and that is why every Every single thing, every single thing about the Clippers and organization, it hinges on Kawhi Leonard. And if you look at the last three years for Kawhi, yes, he did win a championship. He beat the depleted Warriors. And that's not going to take away from how great he was, but not many people think that they would have won a championship if KD and Clay were both playing. So and then after that, they were up 3-1 in the bubble. That did not go well. And it wasn't just it wasn't just uh, Paul George. Kawhi Leonard had a lot of that. He was struggling in that. Then he had an entire season off. So when when I look at this, I'm just going to vault them and say that they are the team to win the championship this year. Oh, no, they should be very worried in Clipperland because he's Ooh. had eight, what, what, 18 months off and he's struggling to play in games. Now, I root for him. I want him to be healthy, but you should be concerned. The organization yeah. should be concerned. Agreed. Perk? You know, I picked the Clippers to win the title this year, and I'm not going back on it, okay? And look, I am concerned, and it's not too soon. Look, I'm more nervous than a criminal driving cross-country with multiple warrants right now when it comes down to the Clippers what? and Kawhi Leonard. And here's why. I was, when I was in my playing days when I was skinny, all right, I tore my ACL, okay, and I came back in six months, and I played. I played in back-to-backs. I played every game after that. Kawhi Leonard has had a season and an off-season off. I'm trying to figure out what the hell is the problem. And we don't get no conversation from him because he's never available for media. So we don't know what he's thinking or what's the pro how the process is going. We get no type of insight whatsoever. So we have to speculate. And for once, I'm with Richard on this one that when it comes down to it, if he's not available, then they're not going to reach their ultimate goal with his championship or bust if he's not available and not 100 or close to 100% healthy. I mean, it, it's concerning this yeah. early in the season. Yeah, there, there's, not, there, there, there's nothing. Kawhi Leonard went at his peak is one of the top five, ten players yep. in the league. Defensively, yep. offensively, late game finisher, mm -hmm. late game defender. Amen. That's why people believe in them. Yep. So we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus. The Clippers, Kawhi Leonard remains out with stiffness in his surgically repaired right knee and will not travel with the L.A. Clippers for their upcoming road trip in Houston and San Antonio. The forward set out his fourth straight game on Monday night and will miss six straight contests by the time the Clippers return on Saturday. T. Lou said Kawhi is, quote, frustrated. So a lot to break down here. So let's welcome in our ESPN Clippers reporter, Ohm. And I'm not even going to try and say your, your last name, Ohm, because we have been <laughs> friends for 25 years and I have never gotten it right. Ohm used to cover me and Vince <laughs> when I was a rookie in, uh, in New Jersey. So, look, there's a lot of concerned Clipper fans out there. What is the latest that you are hearing on his health and status moving forward? RJ, way to make this Asian feel super old. Um, by the way, uh, what's up, Vince? Uh, yeah, no, look, our, Kawhi is not here in Houston uh, with the team. He won't be here in Texas. He will miss six straight games. Ty Lue said he is frustrated. My understanding is that this is not a serious setback or a serious injury. The thing is that Kawhi Leonard said he doesn't play in any five-on-five, five, not even three-on-three three or two-on-two, two, during the 15 months that he was out rehabbing. He didn't play, really, uh, scrimmaging until he got into training camp. And so now that he's feeling a little stiffness in there, um, he wants to play, but the Clippers are erring 
on absolute side of caution here. They're being as careful as they can. And they just have the goal in mind of making sure that he's going to be okay come playoff time. And so really, I think that's what you say. I don't, I don't know when the next time we're going to see him because after this trip, they have one day off and then they've got a back-to-back -back at home against Utah and Cleveland. One day off between that and then they play the Lakers. This, their schedule is absolutely packed, RJ, and they don't have much practice time in between. And there's a lot of back-to-backs. So I would think that they're probably just going to keep him out until he's ready to come back. I would think that they're going to probably want to get him in one practice at least or get him in some sort of practice session to see how he feels before throwing, them back, throwing him back out there. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Hey, what's up, y'all? Jag from Jaggy Sports here. And should the Clippers be worried about Kawhi Leonard? My answer is hell no. I'll say it again. My answer is hell no. Why would you be worried about Kawhi Leonard? Like he has some stiffness in his knee and he's probably going to sit out like, I don't know, maybe uh, at least six games they're saying. Um, maybe possibly more, but I'm not worried. Like, come on. This guy load manages. Uh, he doesn't play that much. Clippers are the Clippers. They are looking really good um, for minus a superstar. And, you know, they'll figure it out. Um, when Kawhi does come back, they're going to be pretty elite. And I know Perkins said that he has them as his title contender. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I still said that they will end up in the in the Western Conference again. It's only freaking November. The playoffs start April. Uh, Kawhi Leonard will be back. Um, I know a lot of people are like you know writing him off here and there, but I still say they're going to the Western Conference Finals. They have a legit roster from A to Z. Great organization. Um, you know, great staff. Uh, you got Jerry West at the helm. What more can you ask for, right? And Frank Lawrence is doing a one hell of a job in general managing. Um, yeah, if uh, if I'm the if I'm the Clippers, I'm not worried. Leave a comment in the comment section. Do you guys think that the Clippers should be worried about Kawhi Leonard and his knee? And you know, when will he be back? I don't think that it's um, much of a worry because given his history, he's missed a lot of games. Um, I don't I don't see this being a wor big worry at all. So leave a comment in the comment section. This is Jag from Jaggy Sports.